All right, so for these problems, we're going to practice writing a polynomial function if we are given the zeros of the function, including some imaginary ones. So if these are the zeros of the function for number 17, and then that means the factors are x plus 1 and x minus 3 and x plus 3. So all we really need to do is multiply all these together. So I will start by multiplying these two together. So if we double distribute this, right, that's going to give me x squared plus 3x. And then if I distribute the negative 3, that's going to give me negative 3x and negative 9. Of course, the positive 3x and the negative 3x will cancel each other out. And I'm left with x squared minus 9. All right, so meanwhile, I still have the x plus 1, which I will bring down. So now I need to multiply these together. So Again, I'm going to double distribute. If I distribute the x, that'll give me x to the third power minus 9x. Now, if I distribute the 1, that's going to give me x squared um, minus 9. Now, we're just going to rewrite this in standard form, basically switching these two around. So our final answer will be x to the third power plus x squared minus 9x minus 9. Number 18 is very similar, but we must be careful. Um, we have learned that imaginary roots, imaginary zeros, always occur in pairs, conjugate pairs. So if we are given negative 2i, then positive 2i must also be one of the zeros. So we have to write that in ourselves. So we really have four zeros, not only three. Okay, um, so now the factors. From the one, we are looking at x minus one. From the three, we have x minus three. Now, from the negative 2i, I have x plus 2i. And from the positive 2i, I have x minus 2i. So, we just need to multiply all this out. I'm going to start by multiplying these two. If I double distribute, so x times x is x squared. x times negative 2i is negative 2ix. All right, now if I double distribute here, 2i times x is positive 2ix, and 2i times negative 2i is negative 4i squared, because of course i times i is i squared. Now negative 2ix and positive 2ix will cancel each other out. That's going to leave me with x squared. Now remember that i squared is negative 1. So this is really like having negative 4 times negative 1, which of course a negative times negative is a positive, so this will be x squared plus 4. So that's what I get when I multiply these together. <coughs> now, meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and multiply these together. So that's going to give me, so I'm doing my double distributive property again, so x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. Now these like terms will come together. So I will have x squared minus 4x plus 3. Now I'm going to do the double distributive property and multiply these two together. But um, for some reason, I like to have the shorter polynomial in the front. So I'm going to put my x squared minus 4x plus 3, my trinomial, to the right. 
<clears throat> and I'm going to put my x squared plus 4 on the left. And that's not necessary, it's just something that I like to do. So now, as I double distribute, so first I'm going to distribute the x squared everywhere. So x squared times x squared is going to give me x to the fourth power. x squared times negative 4x is negative 4x to the third power. And x squared times 3 is going to be 3x squared. All right, now I will distribute the 4. So 4 times x squared is 4x squared. 4 times negative 4x is negative 16x. And 4 times 3 is 12. OK, all that's left is to combine these like terms. <clears throat> so I'm going to just bring this down. So I'll have x to the fourth power minus 4x to the third power plus 7x squared and then minus 16x plus 12.